Hey, I'm Crystal with Project Exploration and the Community STEM Badging Ecosystem. And I'm scared. Angie is a middle school student on Chicago's South Side, thinks that engineering is important to our future. She first learned about engineering from a scientist in her Sisters for Science program. That's when Angie realized she wants to be an engineer when she grows up. Angie's mom isn't sure what to tell her daughter, and she really doesn't have time to look for resources. Angie doesn't have reliable access to the internet, and without even knowing it, she missed out on a lot of really awesome opportunities. Angie's story is common, and many of us work relentlessly to craft a viable solution. The Community STEM Badging Ecosystem is a growing collection of museums, out-of-school time providers, and two badging platforms. Our goal is to create a shared set of badges that will open up pathways for students like Angie throughout Chicago, the nation, and maybe someday the world. We want to connect formal and informal learning environments so Angie's teachers can connect with what she is exploring. How do you categorize experience across institutions? Project Exploration's Youth Science Matrix is a framework for articulating best practices in STEM education and youth development. CSTEM has built a pilot badge ecosystem that represents stepping stones to help Angie move from after-school science classes to internships with engineers. The cool thing about bringing a lot of people together on a single project is the amount of knowledge and resources at the table. After a bit of collaboration, sweat and tears, we have a beautiful set of badges with bomb content. The CSTEM badge ecosystem aims to open up pathways for students from all corners of the city. Angie can earn badges in her Sisters for Science classroom that will open up opportunities across the city. Openly sharing ideas, asking what is best for students, and collaborating helps the CSTEM group progress quickly and unveils opportunities we would have not come to individually. We are also listening to students and instructors. Collaborating with two badging platforms allows for a ton of versatility. The CSTEM badges have been issued from student to student at a one-day event with a focus on points to traditional issuing by instructors to students in classrooms on mobile devices. Reliable technology is hard to come by in a lot of schools, and we address the lack of technology by asking for a mobile version of the badging platform and asking instructors to use their smartphones to issue the badges. No technology in schools, you say? There are communities without reliable access to technology. To address the challenge, CSTEM is piloting an SMS messaging system pinged by digital badges that just went live on Monday. The CSTEM ecosystem reaches youth like Angie and provides collateral at participating institutions. The CSTEM badges are going on the road and we want to bring everybody with us. The constant, the only one constant that technology can't shake is that teacher actions will drive student actions. It is important to ensure that instructors are the most enthusiastic participants in the room when it comes to badging, otherwise Angie isn't going to care. I have a few final thoughts. Reliable access to the internet is a challenge. Only 39% of public schools have wireless access for the whole school. I wonder if student engagement will increase when we start to reach the students who have traditionally been excluded. Conversations are starting at a corporate level. Upper level managers are concerned about the validity of badges. It's our job to ensure integrity so badges can gain a collective value and Angie can use her badges to become an engineer. Talk to anyone who will listen about the potential of badges. It takes three people to start a revolution. Go. Be excited when you talk about them. We are all busy people and badging takes time. But badging takes a lot less time than writing a letter of recommendation for a student five years from now or trying to remember an impressive project from last summer. CSTEM will help open up pathways and enable you to empower the youth you serve to advocate for themselves. When first presented with the CSTEM badges, Angie said that these badges will open doors to new knowledge. She was excited about the possibilities and a little unsure of the value at first. We need your help to spread the word, join the movement, and let us know what you think so more Angies can become engineers. I am incredibly thankful to Shandis Uribe, who, when I called and told her that it would take 48 hours to get these slides turned around, she did it. 
And so I am grateful to her, and I'm also thankful to the CSTEM group. Thank you.